The next space shuttle to lift off to the International Space Station will be carrying a piece of important European hardware. The Microgravity Science Glove Box, MSG, will become ESA's first fully-fledged research facility to be integrated onto the ISS. The idea behind the glove box is to enable astronauts working on the station laboratories to handle a variety of materials and perform experiments such as combustion, fluids and biotechnology safely in the microgravity environment. Besides, it can accommodate minor repairs and the servicing of hardware when necessary. The glove box consists of an enclosed space that provides physical isolation from the cabin environment, enabling crew members to manipulate the experiment hardware through glove ports. The glove box included in the MSG is the evolution of a concept already used in previous ESA payloads, such as the MGBX, installed in the ESA-developed space lab. The microgravity science, the microgravity glove, box science ISA glove box is the, the first ESA facility for the ISS. It offers a lot of enhanced features compared with the previous generation. So far, the most obvious one is the much larger work volume, 255 meters. Des Arbeitsvolumens sind the glove box offers all the necessary resources, for instance, power, command, data, data handling, uh, vacuum, vacuum und, venting, und, uh, and also venting. four video cameras hooked to four recorders video system, and a video downlink system to Earth. This allows us to follow the experiments so that man, simultaneously uh, here. Generally speaking, glove box experiments tend to be smaller, less complex, less automated, and more crew intensive than larger scale spaceflight experiments. This enables them to be developed in a shorter period of time, two to three years, and at a fraction of the cost of their larger counterparts. The first time this European facility will be used by a European astronaut will be during a Soyuz taxi flight mission in October. ESA's Belgian astronaut, Frank de Winner, will perform four different experiments in the MSG, taking into account the payload and mission timeline restrictions. The microgravity science glove box um, is a universal tool to perform experiments with a certain containment and uh, for that reason it can be used by other experimenters as well, not only those who deal with uh, toxic uh, substances and uh, it will be particularly relevant for the so-called taxi flights. The MSG facility was built for NASA for a projected operational use of 10 years. It'll be accommodated initially in the United States laboratory, US lab, but could be moved to ESA's Columbus laboratory at a later date. ESA will have utilization rights over the glove box and will pre-screen its European proposed experiments. The prime contractor for the development of the MSG was Astrium GmbH, based in Germany. For the launch, the facility was integrated within one of three Italian-built mini-pressurized logistics modules, MPLM, called Leonardo. This module was then placed inside the space shuttle cargo bay, ready for the start of the STS-111 mission, scheduled for launch on May 30, 2002. The microgravity science glove box uh, is a first precursor of this uh, possibility of Europe to use the International Space Station and shows uh, clearly that uh, we are a reliable partner and delivering our components within the time frame that was originally agreed upon and we, we assume that it will open for us uh, the campaign of the space station utilization. STS-111 will also have a European crew member, French astronaut Philippe Perrin, who will participate in three spacewalks or extravehicular activities. The international character of the space station is once again underscored as its exploitation moves forward every day.